In today's video, I'm going to be talking about five tiny but powerful ways that we can all change our shopping habits this year. I think we all like to start the year off by setting some really good intentions, things that we want to change about ourselves, and maybe shopping less or shopping better is on your list. So my first tip to change our shopping habits for the better is unsubscribe and unfollow. So if it's normal for you to get lots of daily emails from brands that are sharing about their sale or some kind of a new release, and if you constantly are opening up those emails and looking at those cute clothes, then that is a really big temptation when it comes to shopping, when it comes to overconsumption. So even though it does sound really overwhelming to go through each email and unsubscribe, I think that your future self will be very thankful. So maybe set aside like an evening when you don't have a lot to do, maybe you're watching TV and just go through your emails and just scroll down to the bottom, hit unsubscribe from each brand. And that's just one tiny thing that you can do, but combined with all these other tips, it will make a big difference. And the second part of this is to unsubscribe from any influencers on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok that make you want to shop and that just are kind of a temptation for you in terms of overconsumption and always wanting more. And that doesn't mean that anything is wrong with these people. They could be great people, but if you're in a place in your life where you're just really tempted to shop, then it would be really great just to take a break from that. And if you don't want to actually unfollow anyone, then just take a social media break. Just delete Instagram or TikTok from your phone for like a month maybe at a time and it's just like a really nice reset for the brain and for just the little part inside of us that just wants to have what everybody else is having. My second tip is to make yourself a really good wish list. So this is all about just shifting our shopping habits. It doesn't mean that you have to stop shopping but you just want to change like how you look at shopping you want to make sure that your purchases are really intentional and like things you actually need or want for your wardrobe. So a great way to do this is just look at your closet as a whole and sit down and make a really intentional wish list. And this is actually a really great thing to do at the beginning of the year to kind of sit and reflect and plan your purchases out for this next year. So I would split up my wish list into two categories. One would be things that I need, maybe my wardrobe is lacking and like basic tops or jeans or some kind of outerwear. And then my other list would be things that I want that maybe I don't actually need, but they just look really great or they just make me feel really happy when I think about adding them to my wardrobe. And what a wish list can do for your shopping habits is that it really curbs that impulse shopping tendency that we tend to have where we see something, we want it, or we're out shopping, something's cute and we want it. When we actually think about it ahead of time and you kind of write down what you want, then you're less prone to just be drawn to anything cute that you see. And especially if something on your wish list is like more expensive, then you can tell yourself, no, I'm saving money for this one item that I actually really want instead of buying like these five random things that are cheaper. <laughs> and the last thing that I want to say about wish lists is that you want to really have items on there that make a really big impact to your wardrobe. So instead of just filling out with a bunch of like random things that maybe don't really go together, they're just cute here and there, you really wanna sit down and think about like, what style do I wanna have? What kind of vibe do I want my wardrobe to have? And what pieces can I add to that that really are like heading into that direction of style that I want to have? Or they look really cool and they make like a really big statement or impact on your wardrobe. My next tip is to try to replace some of your usual fast fashion brands with a few new sustainable ones. So maybe you're ready to replace the stores that you usually shop at and you wanna look for some new ones that are more sustainable or just more better quality. This is a great way to change your shopping habits. Maybe you've learned about fast fashion and you realize how exploitative some of these brands can be where they're just trying to make an item for as cheap as possible. They don't care that it's gonna fall apart right after you buy it. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, then you know the approach that I like to take is more like practical, slow. I don't really try to label any brands as like evil or the best because there is a lot of things to consider. No brand is perfect. Then there's like your budget, things are more expensive. So I like to give a lot of grace in that area for myself and for anybody else that's just starting out. But 
what you can do is look into a few brands that maybe you've heard of before that you want to try and just see if you end up liking them. So a few of my more sustainable brands that I could recommend is Quince. This is probably the most affordable one. They have a lot of basic tops, bottoms, sweaters. Then also Everlane is a brand that I do like and they're not perfectly sustainable, but I do love that they have really great quality items and their items are usually made from natural fibers, so they last a lot longer and they just look very like modern and sleek, which I appreciate. And I'll leave a list of other brands that are sustainable and affordable in the description box if you want to check them out. But if most of those are out of your budget, then you can also look at buying stuff secondhand, which is a great way to shop. and. That is as easy as just heading to your local thrift store and just browsing around. It can be a little bit intimidating at first, but there's a lot of great things to be found if you really give it a try. So my next tip to change your shopping habits this year is start buying items with natural fibers. This is a great thing that you can do, especially if you can't afford those more sustainable fashion brands because you can find natural fibers at any store that you usually go to. So even stores like H&M, Old Navy, Target are gonna carry items that are cotton or linen. And this is a great way just to get started in shifting our shopping habits because if we're used to buying a lot of polyester, that's a material that's really cheap to produce and kind of harmful to the planet. So if you wanna try to move away from that, the cheapest fabrics to start with is cotton and linen. Those are usually pretty affordable. And then you can look for items maybe made from wool or silk. And the reason why this is a better way to shop is that number one, natural fibers just feel so much better on the skin. They let your skin breathe. They're not like trapping all your sweat on your body like plastic can do. Also, in theory, over time they would decompose faster than plastic, which sounds like it's just better for the planet. And the last tiny thing that you can do to change your shopping habits is become an outfit repeater. <laughs> so whenever you feel the itch to shop and want to buy a lot of new stuff, go to your closet and spend some time just trying on your own clothes and just playing dress up <laughs> with your own stuff. A lot of times we have so much clothes already in our closet that we even like forget what's in there or we haven't worn stuff for so long that we even like forget what it looks like. So. Just spending some time trying on the clothes you already have and like styling them into new outfits. Sometimes that can really spark new excitement for the clothes that you already have. And if you do see a really great outfit on somebody that really makes you want to shop, try to recreate it with the clothes that you already have. Sometimes it's just like the outfit proportions or outfit silhouettes that's really inspiring to us. And maybe we don't have like the same exact colors or styles as somebody else, but we can still take like the concept of their outfit and recreate it with our own clothes. And of course we all know it's okay to repeat outfits and wear the same thing. That really just means that you're confident in what you already like and you know what looks good on you. And the last thing to remember is that nobody else is really paying attention to what we're wearing as much as we are. So as long as we feel good in our clothes, um, no one's really gonna notice that you wore that same sweater before or that you wore that exact same outfit. I hope that you guys found this video helpful and that it inspires you to try something new with your shopping habits this year. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any goals for your style or your wardrobe. Are you doing any kind of a low buy or no buy? I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna be doing this year yet, but I'll probably film a video soon where I share about my goals for the year or something like that. So yeah, keep an eye out for that and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.